To install mods for Resident Evil 4 Remake on the Steam Deck, we need to have the full purchased game installed, preferably to the internal drive for the best performance, and potentially a USB-C or Bluetooth mouse. I will be using a wired mouse for when we open the mod manager later, as it can prove difficult to copy our install path from the description of this video. From desktop mode, we need to obtain the fluffy mod manager from Nexus Mods, which requires us to make an account, download and extract the mod manager, preferably to a folder within documents, called RE4Mods, like I have here. Alternatively, you can download the mod manager, available as of the 7th of April 2023, from the link in the description I have provided, which includes the Ada Wong model that will swap out Leon's in-game model for hers. Once you have Fluffy Mod Manager extracted, we want to enter the folder and locate modmanager.exe. This file we need to add to Steam as a non-Steam game and assign Proton for its compatibility. Let's open our Steam library, and in the bottom left, click Add a Game. Add a non-Steam game, and we want to click Browse. From the drop-down, click on Home slash Deck, making sure to navigate to where you unzipped the fluffy mod manager. If you followed my earlier suggestion, this would be Documents, RE4 Mod, Fluffy Mod Manager, and inside here we want to make sure to click File Type and All Files to show the modmanager.exe. Click this once and press Open. Next, press Add Selected Programs. To add this to Steam. It is recommended to find the modmanager.exe from the list of your games. Click on this once and press the star symbol on the far right, adding to our favourites for ease of access later. Next, click the cog symbol and select properties. Under compatibility, we need to choose a Proton version. I'll be using GE Proton 753, but you can use Proton 7 etc if you wish. Close this window and press play on the mod manager within Steam for the first time. For the entirety of using the mod manager, I was unable to use the Steam Deck's touchpad and instead had to use a combination of the D-pad, Steam keyboard, and my USB-C mouse. I would recommend plugging this in now if you haven't already. With the D-pad, we want to go down until we see Resident Evil 4 Remake from the list of games. Press A which will take us to the following screen. Make sure to click with your mouse, choose game folder. And from the two options, we need to select the second option, choose the games executable. This will bring up a directory window, which the mod manager will think we are on Windows and when trying to navigate through the files, we will be unable to see hidden folders required for accessing the RE4 installation directory. The easiest method is using the file path found in the description of this video that I have provided, which if you've installed RE4 to the internal drive as recommended, this will work first time. Copy this path and come back to the mod manager. 
pasting inside the file name field. Press open and you will be inside the RE4 installation directory. What we want to do is choose RE4.exe and press open. Now that we have RE4.exe linked to our mod manager, click mod list. And if you want to play as Ada Wong, click Leon. You will see that Ada has been included in the mods. What we need to do is make sure that the toggle is set to the right here for this to activate in game. Before we launch for the first time, let's come back to our mod manager folder. I want to make sure you all understand where to place mods if you decide to add some of the others available on Nexus mods, etc. Inside the main directory, there is a folder called Games. RE4R and inside here is a folder called Mods. Simply paste the extracted folder for your mods into here and when you run the mod manager, they will be detected. Please do make sure to read any included documentation for mods that may differ than what I have outlined here today. With that all out the way, let's return to gaming mode. Let's launch Resident Evil 4 Remake to see if Leon's model has been replaced with Ada Wong's as we set in our mod manager earlier. As we can see, jumping into the main game, we can play as Ada Wong instead of Leon, or we can jump into Mercenaries and play as her there until Capcom decide to release Ada, Wesker, the fourth stage, and Ada's campaign separate ways. I'll leave you all with some brief gameplay of me playing as Ada in Mercenaries on the Steam Deck. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, join the Discord, or consider supporting my work via Ko-Fi, Patreon, or the affiliated links in the description. Please leave a comment below letting me know which mods you're excited to try out and anything Resident Evil. I'm always up for a discussion about one of my favourite game series. As always, thank you for watching, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.